Today we're gonna make lemon chicken orzo soup. This is a great one, perfect for fall and winter. Here are all the ingredients. Let's get into it right now. All right, guys, I always like to go over all the ingredients so it's really easy for you to prep it, get ready to make it. It's also easy for me this way to show you. This is an onion, a carrot, one stalk of celery, and then we have two bay leaves. This is gonna be for a stock we're gonna make. We're gonna make the stock and with five or six chicken thighs. In the print recipe, I have three pounds of chicken, I believe, or two and a half. I have a little bit less here. It's gonna be fine. We'll just have a little less meat. We're gonna make our stock out of this and that's gonna go into our soup at the end. To make our stock a little quicker, we have two cups of low sodium chicken stock that I mixed up from low sodium chicken base. In addition to that two cups of low sodium chicken stock, we have 10 cups of water. So that's all that is for is just for the stock. And that's the first thing we're gonna do. I'll get that over to the side. All of this stuff here is for the actual soup itself. Now, if you don't wanna go through the trouble of making your stock, you can mix up straight low sodium chicken base. You could buy like already broken down chicken. You know, there's a lot of ways to like really speed this up. So for the soup, we have onion, celery, carrot. It looks like we have basically a cup of each. On the recipe card, it'll say three medium carrots. I used five little carrots here. You can see that I peeled my carrots. I rarely peel carrots, but these carrots were not in the best shape. Yeah, and the celery, it was like three, three celery ribs, and that was one medium onion. So that's what we have there. We have a couple cloves, garlic, minced. This is like a Greek soup. It always has flour in it. Some places you'll see it'll make it a little thicker than others. I'm gonna use just, I think I have three tablespoons of flour. Hang on a second. Two. Thank you, Tara. Yeah. Right, she's right back at the camera today. So two tablespoons of flour. And if you did want to make it thicker, you would use more flour. Parsley to finish, lemon juice to finish. That's what gives it that unique burst of lemon flavor at the end. And you could put as little or as much as you like. And then orzo, I have eight ounces of orzo right here. And that's plenty for this amount of soup. So let's make the stock first. And I'm not gonna season the chicken with any salt and pepper. The only salt that's going in here is the salt that's in that chicken base from the reduced sodium or low sodium chicken base. We don't want a lot because our soup is gonna get seasoned later. Normally when you make a stock, if you make one from scratch, you don't really wanna put salt in it. This is stainless steel, I'm gonna heat this up to medium and we're gonna sear the chicken. It's gonna give us a little bit more flavor quicker. But since we're only doing this an hour, hour and 20, we're gonna do this to help accelerate the process. Use paper towels and just dry off your chicken at least that skin side. Try to get a little bit of color on these. Put our olive oil in, a couple tablespoons. You don't need a lot. And I hope you can see it in there, but you can hear it, right? Whoa, that was the weirdest sound ever. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Um, all right, I gotta try to act normal again. Normally I would say don't, you don't wanna crowd your pan here, and I don't recommend you crowd your pan, but I gotta get going here. So I'm gonna squeeze them in there, not the best. Let them sear about five minutes on that skin side. Then we'll cook them on the other side and then we will get our liquid in. Say like this, you want them a little bit of color, kind of a golden color, and then just flip them over. You'll get a couple, a little bit more flavor on the other side and then we'll get our liquid in. I have two cups of that low sodium chicken stock. I'm using better than bouillon chicken base. I'm gonna put that right in there. And then I have 10 cups of water. This is gonna give us roughly 10 cups, maybe nine cups of stock after we skim the fat and all that stuff. I have one onion that I just peeled, but you don't even, you didn't have to peel it if you don't want to. Carrot, and then this is one celery rib that I just cut in half, and then two bay leaves. Let's bring this up to high. This is boiling, as you can see. Lower it down to about a three out of 10, maybe a 2.5 out of 10. Just a tiny little bubbling action you want, which is just a simmer. As it cooks, just stir it occasionally, and then you can remove the scum and the fat. Those are two different things. You can take your flat spoon and then you can start removing it. Just cover it like that. So leave it slightly ajar. All right, so it's been about 70 minutes, maybe 80 minutes. I think I lost count, but I was down here a good amount and I was removing fat, skimming it off. I have it in this mug right here. I have about that much, hope you can see it. Probably about a third of that mug. 
And then this is what we're left with here. Wasn't that much reduction because we had our lid partially cracked. You just reach in there and try to get some more of the scum on there and some of the fat. The fat you can skim off the top. I mean, you can even use a ladle. You can just kind of just really try to get the top of it. We're gonna take this chicken out right now and we're gonna put it right on this cutting board and we're gonna let it cool so we can break it down. because It's too hot right now to break down. And I think it was five thighs we had. It's gonna take about 10 minutes before you're gonna be able to break it down. Just what I would do is like every two minutes, just come over and just flip them over, spread them apart, let that heat dissipate. Now we're gonna to try to remove some more fat from our stock. One of the simplest ways if you got the time is to stick this in your fridge. Let it cool completely the fat will rise to the top. You'll be able to remove all of it. Jacques Pepin, I love him. I've seen him do it in many episodes, uh, probably old school episodes. I don't know if he still does it anymore. All you're going to do is you're gonna take your paper towel, you're gonna to put it on top like this, and then you're gonna pull. And now the fat is all gonna to stick to here. Keep doing that, and then your broth will get clearer and clearer as you do it. So simply, we're just gonna pour it in. Okay, just do it slowly. Try not to make a huge mess. So those paper towels are catching a lot of the fat. Now we have a relatively clear broth. That's really good. All right, so now we have our stock, our quick stock. We have about 10 cups of it, maybe nine, depending on how much you scooped out when you were draining the fat and everything else. It's completely clear, it's ready to go. We're gonna make our soup and we will shred our chicken. Heat your pot up. Guys, I'm just using a third pot here just because this is a little bit lower, but by all means, just use that other pot that I just made the stock in, it's fine. I'm, you know, it's always a problem getting the lens inside of here for you. So I'm gonna heat this up to about a four out of 10. A couple tablespoons, maybe three, maybe four, just coat the bottom with olive oil. And then here are our celery, our onion, and our carrot. Let's just put it all in. It's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna let them get really soft and flavorful without putting color on them. While these are softening, we'll shred our chicken right now. To get these to accelerate a little quicker, you could put about a half a teaspoon of salt on there. That'll let the water release out of the veggies a little bit quicker. So we have five thighs right here. We wanna remove everything. The meat is all we want here. Now, you can have the bones left over. You can make a bone broth. You can save them for a bone broth, whatever you wanna do. But right now, we don't need it for for this dish, we just want the meat. So I'm gonna put like the skin, the bones, everything over here. You do wanna get this piece of cartilage right here. You see this piece of cartilage? Make sure you remove that too. Kinda just go over it fairly well. So that's good. I'm gonna knock down the heat a little bit here just so they don't burn. And then here's the meat. I went over it really well and I'm just gonna give it a very light chop. All right, yeah, and that's, I mean, that looks like one and a half pounds of chicken there. So you do get a lot of meat from, from the chicken thighs. Okay, it's been about, I think, 10 minutes. There's the veggies. They're pretty soft, they're good. Right now you could add your garlic in and let that cook for about a minute to may, maybe two minutes, but it's minced, so you gotta watch it. You don't want it to burn. That's a minute, that's it. Here's our flour. Gonna put this in and just mix it around. This flour just thickens it up the soup a little bit. That's pretty much it, guys. That's what you want. And we're gonna carefully put our stock in without making a mess. I'm scraping the bottom here to remove any of those brown bits from the veggies that we just cooked for those last 10, 12 minutes. We're gonna bring this up to a boil. Listen, the written recipe says to simmer this now for about 15 minutes to further concentrate the flavors. If you're in a rush, and I'm in a rush, it's 8.45 on a Friday night. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna put the orzo in and the chicken meat. I have this on about a four out of 10. This is gonna be a good level to cook the orzo. I'm putting in eight ounces of orzo right now. Trying to get this done before the taste tester gets home. Uh, he's at a basketball game, so he'll be home to, to test this one. All right, so I'm gonna stir this in. That's good. Now guys, I'm using chicken thighs. I don't use, you know, I'm not using the white meat here. It's better, the chicken thighs are better. You don't have to worry about overcooking or anything like that. There's more flavor. You guys know, you know the drill, right? I mean, chicken thighs are better, right? So guys, listen, orzo has a tremendous tendency to wanna to stick to the bottom of your pot. This is gonna take about 12 to 15 minutes to get your orzo al dente. That's what you're looking for. Right when it's al dente, you're gonna, we're gonna turn off the heat. But we're not at a boil here, so it's gonna take longer than if we were straight boiling it. But I like to cook it in the broth 
just like pasta vizul, pasta yachachi, pasta, like 30 other dishes we've done this way. This is gonna give it a lot more flavor. So you just have to stand here while you do it and you just have to keep feeling the bottom. All right, if it starts to really stick and you don't have enough liquid in here, add a little bit more liquid. That's all you have to do. And I just tested it and pasta is still hard. So it's a couple more minutes here. All right, I removed it. The orzo is perfectly cooked. Now we're gonna season this up. We're gonna taste this. That's delicious. I'm gonna add in about one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. Nice crushed black pepper in there. I'm sure the taste tester will tell me it's not enough. Parsley, I have about a quarter cup here. I'll use a good amount. You know, we're doing a Greek dish here, so dill would be great, uh, Greek oregano. We're gonna put in the juice of one lemon to start. We're gonna taste test and then maybe use more. This has a lot of pits in here. That's why I'm doing it this way instead of using my hand. That looks awesome. You know what? I'm not gonna put more lemon in. I think maybe you let people do it. I'm worried about the taste testers now. We're doing a new scoring system with the cards. Yeah, so I write like the yeah. number down here, then I flip the card over. This might, this might be the first time you're seeing it, even though we filmed a couple already. Yeah, let's see. It's really hot. Really hot, yeah, I can see that's super I hot. Well, no, I'll just, just blow, just blow on, on it. it. Hmm. Don't let us know keep what you're gonna give. Keep a poker face. Yeah. You know what a poker face is? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You don't show your don't hands. Wanna, like let anybody know like what you're feeling. Yeah. That's whip ball on it. Yeah. <laughs> no, not that much. <laughs> well, is this gonna color? Is this gonna change what mama gives as a rating? Why don't you get your ratings in first before you say something? Okay. I'm not looking. Just turn it over when you're done. All right, I'm not feeling good about this one at all. I'm actually quite worried here. Like I got this guy here. You said I need to be? Oh God. <laughs> all right, all right. I said me neither. Really. Oh, but, but. Let's, let's see what you got. Okay, so, you know what? Yeah, so I wrote seven. <laughs> seven and three quarters. I wrote seven and three quarters, but I actually think it deserves a seven and a half. Okay. Because this is very mid. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, it doesn't have enough lemon flavor. It's like... I just said at the end before I put this on, I wasn't going to put in an extra lemon because I said if they wanted to add it. That's what you're, that's what you're knocking me for is the lemon. I got another yeah. lemon right right here. Chicken is too dry. I got... It's just a like, very dry soup. Yeah. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Huh? Does it have enough olive oil? All right, I think the game, I think the basketball game, like, did you get hit in the head with the ball? Did you? <laughs> All right, Mama. What? Say, please bail me out here. <laughs> oh, 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 nice. I, nice. <laughs> I think it's really good. Yeah. I. No. I just made this two weeks ago, so and you loved you it. Loved it. He's entitled to his opinion. This time is not nearly as good as it was. Okay, like, a I. Weeks ago. I actually think it's better this time. Really? I really. Okay. I think I, it's way worse. I please. really like it because I think the lemon. Um, I think it had like the perfect amount of lemon one, flavor. One lemon. I also really like the parsley in it. I think it gives a really good fresh flavor. And it's, it's really, it's like a good alternative to like regular like chicken noodle soup or whatever. I really like the orzo. Yeah. It. And I think it's, I think it's excellent. I mean. It's the green stuff. The parsley? The parsley. Yeah, that's what it is. That's parsley. We're gonna eat if it didn't. Okay, wow. Uh, guys, I think we're moving into a new era here where James just like, I'm worried. I'm worried that like he's gonna give me a four or some, at some point. Do you Don't test me, I, I have a Don't question. test me. I have a question for you. You're very hot right now from playing basketball and this is hot soup. Do you think that's like changing your feelings on it? No. I'm hot because it's 80 degrees outside today in October. I, we mm -hmm. turned the heat on in the house. Now mm -hmm. we're like, oh, we got to turn the air conditioning back it gets on. It's a seven and a half, but he's still eating it, so. <laughs> Would you like to finish the whole bowl and then give it a four? No, I'm gonna actually get an ice cream sandwich. Okay. Mm -hmm. 